I think they're both really good signings. Um, young, hungry, um, looking to make the mark, especially the young lad from Manchester City. I think he'll want to prove to his parent club that he's really got what it takes and we can really benefit from that in this season. And Douglas is a proven defender and I think defence has been lacking somewhat over the past few years. So both really good signings, exciting. Bye Douglas. Best left wing back, left back in the league last year by a, by a margin. Um, and three million, great, great signing for pennies really. Um, Jack Harrison, seen what he did in the MLS, uh, no time in, with uh, with Borough really. So to judge with him there, but uh, in the MLS he was he was great, linking up with like David Vere and stuff like that. Um, young prospect, got a lot to prove, so he'll uh, he should shine here. Yeah, it's nice to see some young blood coming in. It's nice to see some other fans being disappointed for losing a player instead of uh, thanking God that they've got rid of them and dumped them on us, so that's positive, I think. I've seen some videos of Barry Douglas from last season. He looks he looks fire, he looks really good. I think he, he could be really good pairing up with Ayling. Uh, Ayling is on form again. Uh, I think them two are going to be very dangerous wing-backs together. Janssen in middle, I think we're sorted. I think that's a great signing. Um, I think seven million is pretty reasonable nowadays. To be fair, because he's still is he 24, I think, isn't he? Still quite young. And again, I think he's got something to prove, really. So I think seven million is pretty reasonable. And I think when he's, I don't think he ever played for Chelsea, but in his uh, previous teams he has, and he's, he's got goals, um, not quite one every other game, but he's done pretty reasonable. And again, I think it's a good signing. I'm really, I don't know, is it sealed, signed and sealed now, Bamford? Or? Yeah, yeah. No, I'd be chuffed with that. I think it's good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, great investment. Um, we need a, a big number nine. He's, he's six foot one. Uh, knows where back in there is. Good proven record in this league. Um, good movement, which we lacked with Lasaga last year. Um, and with Saez, Hernandez, and Co behind him, he should he should score score goals. I'm not too sure. I'm undecided on him to be honest. He uh, every time I see him play, he's a, he's a bit lax, but he always seems to turn it on against us, like everybody else does. So you never know. Yeah, Patrick Bamford. Uh, he looks good. I, I'm not entirely sure. I think he's got ten goals. It, it's decent. It's better than what we have now. It's better than Grot and Ekiban. It's an improvement. So. Um. It'd be a shame to lose him, but you know, if, if you're looking to make some money in the transfer market and there are going to be comings and goings, obviously some of the top players are going to be looked at really, aren't they? And I don't think seven millions that unreasonable. Uh, it'd be a shame to see him go, but I think with some of the players we've brought in, um, I think he, he won't be missed that much. But you know, he's a fan's favourite. He's a good player. It's uh, but it's just how it is, especially when you're in the championship. I guess seven million is fairly reasonable. It's, it's sad because he's a youth prospect, um, and obviously we'll never see his full potential if he does leave. Um, but I don't think he has developed in the way that we hoped he would. Um, he's fallen down the pecking order a little bit. Um, Calvin Phillips seems to have made that holding midfield role his that's forming the back three um, and if he isn't getting game time £7 million is a lot to keep on your bench and if we can invest that elsewhere in like in maybe a centre back uh, I think it's a, it's a good move. Very disappointed about that, I like him. He gives the ball away quite a lot but he always uh, does his best to get it back as well so in his break up play is brilliant so I'd have kept him definitely, very disappointed. Uh... A lot of people don't like him at the moment for some reason, but I I, I really rate him and I, I would put him on loan or something instead, maybe let him grow somewhere. I think it's a bad idea letting him go for that kind of money. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think, you know, we shouldn't be held to ransom and, you know, if the uh, if the board had made a decision on how much they think a player's worth uh, and they want to go above that, I think they've done the right thing. And I mean, he's a really good player, he's a proven goal scorer. That would be fantastic if we could have got him. But, you know, as Leeds fans know, probably better than anyone, you know, spending over and above what you can, what your budget for is not the best, best thing. So if he wanted more and he was playing hardball and we weren't prepared to give him it, then I think they've done the right thing. It seems to me that his attitude was poor from, from the beginning um, and 
if he's going to be asking 50 grand a week, good luck to him finding that because I don't think he will. Um, not in this league especially. Um, and we've been linked with Bamford for a week now and he looks like he wants to come. He should be getting announced soon. So that's the type of player he should be after, not someone that's holding out for loads of money. So I think it's the right decision. No, not really. Not bothered about him. Keep him where he is up there. We don't want him down here. Uh, I think if Saez gets back in form, I think we'll be okay. And also, if he's asking that much money, uh, he obviously don't. He don't. He don't want to watch a Leeds. He don't want to wear a Leeds shirt that badly. So I don't want him.